in this class uh, we will discuss about the uh, strain compatibility conditions or equations in Cartesian coordinates. So we will have uh, all the both uh, two dimensional three dimensional coordinate systems. So we have learned to come the definition of stress strain stress uh, that is strain displacement relations. These are the six uh, relationships that exist in the earlier class. I will explain about this. See here, U V W. They are the displacements along the x, y, z direction respectively. Along the x, y, z direction. So if you know U V W, they are the components of x, y, z. You can always find out the strain components, six strain components uh, in a three-dimensional space uh, strain system. The absorbance is given by dou u by dou x. The absorbance is given by dou u by dou y. The absorbance is given by dou u by dou z. So they are called as the normal strain components, which act uh, along x, y, z directions. And shear strain components are gamma x, y, gamma y, z, and gamma z x. Gamma x, y is dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y. See here. How to write this? So x y will be coming here, and whatever displacement is there in y direction, that will come here. Whatever displacement is there in x direction, that will come here. Similarly, gamma y z is dou w by dou y plus dou v by dou z, and gamma z x is dou u by dou z plus dou w by dou x. So this we have done. So totally, you have six uh, strain components in a three-dimensional strain system. Now let us consider consider This epsilon x. Epsilon x is dou u by dou x. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to develop uh, one, one one more equation called compatibility equation. So in any structural analysis, yeah, it, it, it needs to be it needs to satisfy two equations, two sets of equations. The first set of equation uh, is called the equilibrium equation. The second set is the compatibility equation. The equilibrium equation corresponds to Forces and stresses, whereas compatibility equations corresponds to deformations and strains. So both of them should be satisfied. So now here, let us derive derive one of the strain uh, compatibility condition for a two-dimensional by taking x and y. We will uh, derive for a two-dimensional one. On similar lines, we can uh, always uh, get the uh, other equations for three-dimensional also. Now, what I do is I will take this epsilon x. Now, definition epsilon x is dou u by dou x. Now, I will differentiate this epsilon x with respect to y twice. I will differentiate with respect to epsilon x twice. If you differentiate once, you get dou square u by dou x dou y. Once again, if you differentiate, second derivative will be dou square epsilon x by dou x square is equal to here dou u u by dou x dou y square u here. Similarly, I will take epsilon y. As for the definition of epsilon y is dou v by dou y, differentiate this with respect to x twice. If you differentiate this with respect to the x twice, dou epsilon y by dou x is dou square v by dou x dou y, and dou dou. Once again, if you differentiate, it is dou square epsilon y by dou x square, which is dou cube v by dou x square dou y. So you can see here the operators or the derivatives uh, order will increase. Now I will call this as one and two. Now I will consider the third one. So third equation is gamma x y. Gamma x y is according to definition dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y. Now what I will do is this gamma x y. Once I will differentiate with respect to x partially, and whatever I get, that I will differentiate with respect to y partially. So once with respect to x, second time with respect to y. So if I differentiate this with respect to x, sir, dou gamma x y by dou x will be here dou square u by dou x y I will get here dou square u by dou y dou x because You are differentiating with respect to x. Now, once again, I will differentiate this with respect to y partially. So, it becomes dou square gamma x y by dou x dou y. Here, it will be dou cube v by dou x square dou y plus dou cube u by dou y square dou x. See here. So, with respect to y, I have differentiated. Here, I have differentiated with respect to x partially. I will get this. Then, I will differentiate this with respect to Y, so you get this expression. Now you have to compare one. You have to compare one, two, and three, and you have to arrive at a single equation. So what I will do is here adding one and two. So if you add one and two here, I will add the LHS. Dou square x y by dou x square plus dou square x y by dou x square will be equal to 
equal to log q dy by dx dy square plus log q dy by dx square dy. Right? So I am adding LHS terms and RHS terms. You are going to get like this. Okay. Now what I will do is I will call this equation as four. I will call this as four. Now what I will do is I will compare this fourth equation with third equation, equation three. So you can see that the RHS are same. RHS of three and four they are same. Therefore, LHS should be equal. So what is LHS now? Dou square gamma x y by dou x dou y should be equal to dou square epsilon x by dou x dou y square plus dou square epsilon y by dou x y. That means so this is equal to this. So this is called as the compatibility equation. Actually, this is one of the equations by taking epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y. So this equation you can see that this is the compatibility equation for two-dimensional problem because we have only three epsilon x epsilon y and gamma x y only three you have got. Suppose in in the, in 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 the place of x and y, if you take y and z, if you take y and z, so that means you have to take epsilon y epsilon z and gamma y, and if you do the same procedure, if you do the same procedure, that means This epsilon y you have to differentiate twice with respect to z. Epsilon z you have to differentiate twice with respect to y. And this gamma y z you have to differentiate once with respect to y. Second time with respect to z. You are going to get another equation like this. So dou square epsilon y by dou z square plus dou square epsilon z by dou y square is equal to dou square gamma y z by dou y dou z. So this is the second uh, compatibility equation you are going to get if you have. If you are go to three dimensional, so in the case of three dimensional, you will be getting three equations because one for x and y, second one for y and z, third one for z and x. See, these are the six equations, the three equations you are going to get. So you can observe here that you can, if you know one equation, you can write the uh, other two equations easily. So these three together, so these three together, they give the Uh, same compared to the equation for three-dimensional system, but we can see here I have taken three three at a time. Now what happens in a three-dimensional system? In addition to these three equations, in addition to these three same compatibility equations, you can always develop another three compatibility conditions. So totally, you will be having six conditions for a three-dimensional strain system. You can always develop one. Six compatibility equations. The other three equations are like this. You can always derive this. So, uh, first equation is two times dou square epsilon x by dou y dou z is dou by dou x of minus dou gamma y z by dou x plus dou gamma z x by dou y plus dou gamma x y by dou z. So, you see here, you can see here the result. So, the first equation you are taking epsilon x. Uh, And you are differentiating this twice, which is one with respect to y, another with respect to z, and multiplying by two, you are going to get this equation. So you can see here how to write this is. So here dou by dou z is there. Here dou x dou by dou z will come, and first thing is negative, then positive, then positive. So the order is like this: dou by dou x of gamma y z will come here, x is there here, the other two will come here. Y is there, the other two will come here. Gamma z x will come. Z is there, gamma x y will come. So please note that the first one is negative. On similar lines, you can develop by taking epsilon y and integral and differentiating that with respect to x and z so two times. You are going to get an equation like this. Here you can see here this is dou by dou y. X is represented by y. And here in the brackets, sir, so the second term will be negative. First here first term is negative, second term is negative. So denominator we have x y z. Numerator once again x is there, therefore y z will come here. Y is there, z x will come here. Z is there, x y will come here. And the last equation two times you have to take epsilon z, then you have to differentiate twice once with respect to x, once with respect to y. And dou by dou z now here also x y z come will come here. Y s will be the third term. So if x is there, y z will come here. Y is there, z x will come here. That is the next one will come here. Now these are the another three sets of equations. So totally you have six strain compatibility conditions for a three-dimensional strain system. Whereas you have only one only one strain compatibility condition for two-dimensional. 
so this is for two dimensional this these three plus these three put together for six uh, for three dimensional that means finally we can say that for a two dimensional strain system we have one compatibility equation whereas in three dimensional you have six compatibility equations so all these six should be satisfied otherwise the whatever we say that the body may not be in equilibrium or it will be say that it is not compatible so this is the thing i wanted to explain so problem may be given on two dimensional because three dimensional normally ignores lot of uh, calculations therefore i now i just uh, uh, solve one problem in two dimensional normally they give that so the problem runs like this the displacement at a point x y is given as u is equal to 5 x power 4 plus 3 x power y square plus x plus y v is equal to y cube plus 2 x square plus 4 compute the normal strength and shear strength at the point 3 comma minus 2 that means at x is equal to 3 y is equal to minus 2 uh, what is the what are the values of normal, normal strength and shear strength and check for compatibility you have to check whether the given uh, displacement field that is u and v is called as displacement field is a two dimensional problem only u v are given if w is given then it is three dimensional so if you want to check for three dimensional all these six equations should be satisfied whereas for two dimensional only this equation we have to check so now first let us find out that the strain components so normal strain components are epsilon x and epsilon y shear strain component only one gamma x so according to this definition epsilon x is rho u by rho x so differentiate this u partially with respect to x you get 20 x cube plus so 6 x y square plus 1 so if you substitute x is equal to 3 y is equal to minus 2 here and simplify you get 613 so it has no units so strain has got no units then epsilon y is rho v by rho y so we have to differentiate this partially with respect to y it is 3 y square plus 2 x so if you substitute for x and y you can simplify you get 18 similarly gamma x y is rho v by rho x plus rho u by rho y so rho v by rho x rho v by rho x is we have to differentiate this with respect to x so you will get 2 y plus rho u by rho y will be uh, here it is um, 6 x square y plus 1 so if you substitute for x and y simplify as 3 and minus 4 simplify you get minus 1 1 1 that is the shear strain component so normal strains are epsilon x and epsilon y sphere strain is gamma x y so this is the first part of the problem so calculate the values of normal strains and shear strain at the point 3 comma minus 2 now we will check whether the given uh, displacement field is compatible or not so to check the compatibility you have to check this equation so you have to calculate this LHS you have to calculate this RHS they should be equal at that point 3 comma minus 2 now let us check that one let me write the compatibility condition now so you have to take only one condition that is the first condition this one only and we have to check whether for the given displacement field the compatibility condition is satisfied or not so now let us check for compatibility so check for compatibility so here let us take the, the condition is rho no square epsilon x y rho y square plus rho square epsilon y by rho x square should be equal to rho square gamma x y by rho x two. so this is the condition to be satisfied now let us find out these things we already know the value of uh, epsilon x which is rho u by rho x now once again we will differentiate that now epsilon x uh, is rho u by rho x which is nothing but uh, we have got 20 x cube plus 6 x y square plus 1 now let me differentiate this with respect to y once first so with respect to y treating x as constant the derivative of this will be 0 if you differentiate this, this becomes 1 x y and constant 1 is a constant derivative is 0 now once again you differentiate this rho square epsilon y by rho y square sorry epsilon x y rho y square so once again if you differentiate respect to 
y you will get 12x 12x now at the point at the point 3 comma y is to the value of uh, this this value becomes uh, this value becomes 12 into 3 x is 3 then for 36 we got 36 the first value is 36 here next let us take the second one so i will take epsilon y epsilon y is do v by do y do v by do y is epsilon y so expression is 3y square plus 2x 3y square plus 2x now let me differentiate this uh, with respect to x do epsilon y by do x so which is 2 here we can say this is 2 because derivative of 3y square becomes 0 because y is constant when you are differentiating with respect to x now once again you differentiate this so do square epsilon y by do x square will be 0 because 2 is a constant, derivative of that will be 0, so you have got 0 here. Now let me take the RHS now, do square, uh, that is gamma x y, I have to take, gamma x y is do b by do x uh, plus do u by do y. So we have got that as 2y plus, we can see here that is 2y plus 6 x square y plus 1. Now I have to differentiate this. So do gamma x y by do x with respect to x we will differentiate once uh, so you get here the derivative of this will be 0 because y is constant this is 1 x y derivative of 1 will be 0 so this is what you are going to get now once again I will differentiate this with respect to y so do square gamma x y by do x do y with respect to y you will get 12x 12x because 12 and x they are constant now at the point at the point 3 comma minus, minus 2, what is the value of this? 12 into 3, that is 36. We got 36 now. Now what I have to do is, so this is the compatibility equation that has to be satisfied. Now this first equation, substitute the values, substitute the values in equation 1. So LHS is now, do square epsilon x by do y square is 36 now. So at the point 3 comma minus 2, what happens? So first value is 36 plus second value rho square epsilon y by dy square is 0 is equal to RHS is this rho square gamma x y by dy x dy y that value is 36. So therefore it is satisfied. Equation is satisfied. Therefore, when 36 is equal to 36 you got. Suppose if you get different values in LHS and RHS, then it is not satisfied and it is not compatible. Therefore, given displacement field, then displacement field means that UV is compatible. Is compatible. So they may give the problem like this. So if both LHS and RHS remain same at that point, we can say that the given displacement field is compatible. Actually, here if you take uh, this, you are going to get 12x here and 0 here, isn't it? You are going to get that. Uh, in general, you are going to get whatever will be the value of x, you are going to get 12x here and here 0. That means in general, if you don't put the values of x and y, it will be 12x. So 12x plus 0 is equal to 12x. Here also it is 12x. So 12x plus 0 is equal to 12x means compa it is compatible. The equation science but that means at all the points, at all the points, whatever irrespective of the value of x and y, at all the points, the compatibility equation is satisfied and therefore uh, the, we can say that the displacement field is compatible at all the points. So this is what uh, I wanted to tell. So in the case of two-dimensional uh, strain system, you have only one compatibility condition. In the case of three-dimensional strain system, you will be having six compatibility conditions.